Listen to Peter in the background. I will also post the clip so you can watch the full video. My input at the end of this video. Which fits your leg, I can't do it. Let's chop your leg off. But... Ooh. <laughs> I've done things like that. Well, I've put power on my shoulder, haven't I? Ah, lad. <laughs> you ain't got any more. Teddy would have sat on your shoulder. It's not very funny to mock amputees, calling them pirates. He's not. He's not. You never know, got nothing else to say in my life, have you? A lot of people live through hell having to have a limb removed, so it's not a laughing matter. I do know we do have a friend that's missing a limb. She so didn't have to jump down my throat. I'm just saying it's not very funny matter. You don't know how my partner works. I do. So if you don't like it, just leave. Simple. It's how he copes with things. Oh, because you, you said do you go around like a pirate, apparently you're taking the piss out of people that's got limbs missing. No, I just said if that can... Oh, There's someone, but... someone on here has just got to take it the wrong way, so... Oh, right. Can he... Right. He's joking with himself. Can he not joke with himself? No, I'm joking about people... I know, it's just one person on... Dude, they had a go at you yesterday as well. It's Me? What did I do yesterday? I don't know what you did yesterday. Singing another day. Today's another day. And I'd be happy, I mean... Life's too short. Today's another but, day. Um, uh, right, um... Today's never day. Well, what about you? Exactly, myself. exactly. It's how you deal well, with things. Exactly. Well, it was, yeah. Now, I still have the leg chopped off. Apparently, you're taking piss out of amputees. I'm not taking piss out. Anymore. I'm taking piss out myself. What are they like? Eh? I don't know. I never said anything about PG yesterday. I don't know who dusted that guy. Yeah, but you thoughts. just heard him say that's how he deals and things. What's that? Now what have I done? You said about a parrot and a parrot. I just have a parrot. You sit on my shoulder, so... You did, actually. <laughs> She's not here anymore. She's gone. I feel like just... Uh, they didn't know it's for what? No, the C word. You know. just said it. Yeah, I said it to her, didn't I? Yeah. Alright, I'll tell him anyway. How can he take the piss out of himself when it's not happened to him? Peter, can you come and say sorry, please, before you end up where somewhere? Sorry for what I said. Sorry for what I said. I s oh, it's when all about myself. Talk? Myself. You don't like two people have lender for us, then don't join in my live stream. Think for simple as that. Simple. No, they don't like what we sell, talk about on live stream and don't I'm join that simple. Myself, I, you know. uh, Thank you for the apology. The apology isn't for me, it's for them that's gone through it. Had enough of you. Personally, I think the pirate comment wasn't a big deal. Then again, I'm not an amputee, so it's not my place to determine whether it's ignorant or not. This clip perfectly shows the enabling Jane does for Peter. The blatant lying at the start to making up lies and excuses to petty arrogant apologies. If you don't like two people have lender for us, then don't join in my live stream. Think for simple as that. This is like the time Jane and Peter both said they were autistic to excuse their behavior, then later on, fucked up. My partner's been under medication for the last three weeks. 
two and four weeks for autism. Okay, so that was filmed before he's medicated. Peter is autistic. Peter's only just been diagnosed. I suffer with autism and anxiety. Partner is not diagnosed yet, but possibly autism or Asperger's. I'm autistic and I don't like certain colours and certain materials. I don't have autism, no. Peter does not have any learning difficulties, nor is he autistic. Jane has admitted many times that she only has very mild cerebral palsy. Not a single learning difficulty makes you offensive and a compulsive liar. Jane, if you are constantly getting complaints about Peter's offensive comments, then maybe, if you use your head, Peter is the issue, and you are another issue for always making up excuses for him. Peter doesn't like being confronted about his behavior, and nor do you. Forcing pathetic apologies mean absolutely nothing. The disgusting lies about mental health, learning difficulties, etc., has to stop. Not only is it sickening, it's embarrassing. Do better.